I'm so glad you could join me here today. Today, we're going to be doing a nice little interesting painting. I hope you could follow along with me. Today, we're going to be doing a more uh, challenging painting. It's going to have more layers, I believe. So let me run the colors across the screen that you'll need to paint along with me in the same order I have them in my palette. While you're doing that, let me tell you what I got done up here. I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas, pre-stretched, double primed, and I added a thin layer of the liquid white. Rather than that, it's slick, it's wet, it's ready to go. Now, let's get started with today's painting. Let me grab a good old two inch brush. And as you can see here, have my phthalo blue just tap a little bit you don't need much you just want an even distribution of paint in the bristles now let's come up here just lightly lightly do crisscross strokes and they'll get gradually lighter as we work down as I always try to say, it'll get lighter as you get down due to that liquid white. So it blends into almost nothing. I want a little bit more, just a little bit, just to kind of season it. Not too much. I don't want to overdo this stage. I think there's going to be quite the layers, so I'm going to just get right uh, into the painting and not waste any time. So I think I want a mountain. I'm going to grab some ivory black, lay it out as flat as you can get it, and cut a roll. Let's come up here. Right there. Maybe there's a peak. Right there. And maybe, maybe right around there. So there's our three major peaks of mountains. Just scratching in, or scratching out, I meant to say. Scratching out the extra paint there is on my canvas. As you can hear how tough I'm scratching the canvas. You want very too little, no paint. It's almost like a stain you want on there. Um, so let me grab my clean and dry two inch brush. I have multiple two inch brushes going, so I don't waste time. Time is money. So just pull and move that paint. So just grab, pull, grab it, pull it. And do the same for the other side. Grab, pull. So just like so. Maybe like so. And just bring it out a bit. Got this. This is a place I would want to live at. Make me a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. Shoot. I'll live here. Just give me some Wi-Fi just to, to be able to record some videos for you guys. <laughs> okay. Very too little. No pressure. The mountain's not going to be big main focal point, I believe. I think it's just there to know there's... There's a mountain out in the far, but I don't think, I don't think it's going to be our main point. You see how I'm a bit sloppy today with my mountain? When I'm a bit more sloppy, that means it's not my main point. When it's the main point, the main view you see, then I kind of... Kind of make it look a bit nicer. Just adding in, adding in um some snow. Now, oh, little bit, little bit of phthalo blue. 
a little bit of ivory black and some white mix it up on your palette cut a row just come up here I think it needs a bit more white just mix it up to your liking usually I have to mix it up a bit lighter just so the camera could pick it up so I try to find that in between of light and dark that both the camera will pick up and I'll like hopefully you guys can see that I think you can nowadays cameras are so advanced I'm using a Sony camera my Canon camera is dead today so I had to do with what I got so just like some just add in a few shadows okay now let's come up here following the angle tap out and create mist just tap all of those angles of your mountain they're a crucial part and just blend it out now I think there lives a cloud or two that's in front of that mountain so let me just load up my fan brush let's come up here let's shoot let's add in ourselves a nice cloud that lives out in here gotta clean my brush a bit just by wiping it off okay it's a big mess right now but once we blend it it should come together so just with a two inch brush that or the two inch brush that I use for the sky I'm gonna blend it out lift upward go across very lightly now if you don't like the way it blends in a bit go back let me add a little touch of the liquid white and just load up your fan brush you could come back and re-highlight there's no rule saying you can't do this so just just plop it in I wanted some clouds in front of our mountains we rarely do that maybe maybe there lives another mountain making sure you guys could see this right around over here just grab don't let your brush stop and then blend it out using the corner of your brush just the base you want to blend okay I think I think I like where we're going with this um, look now let's go ahead I'm gonna grab a little bit of blue and just add it into my uh, white just a little blue little white just mix it on your brush let's come up here you know what I'm gonna block in some base color with the dirty brush we use for the base color let's go into some phthalo blue just tap it in let's do a waterfall let me see how that looks from afar 
let's go ahead let's add in another waterfall maybe maybe right around here okay now liquid white and I'm going to go into my blue and white mixture let's come up here let's decide where our waterfall lives I'm gonna cover these areas up so this is the reason why I don't care too much about those areas just block it in okay now let's go ahead maybe there's some rocky cliffs that live up in there so I'm gonna use a flat brush I don't know what number this is I just know it's a flat brush now let's come up here let's let's just block in these rocky cliffs you just care about that outside edge really okay maybe maybe right around here just blend it let's do the same thing for the other side let's just add in a few little duders a few little cliffs okay just maybe right here and just again right now all i'm worried about is blocking in color that's all i'm worried about maybe maybe this one covers up the edge of the the cloud you know we don't get to see the rest of the cloud okay now let's go ahead let's go ahead let's get let's get a little crazy sorry about the noise my neighbor they're um they're moving in and there's some sounds near my studio so dark sienna white maybe even a little bit of van dyke brown just to change the tone up a bit let's come up here let's decide where our highlights and shadows live okay just like so just bring it down just slightly now I'm gonna do the same over here you gotta highlight every rocky cliff because at one point the sun will hit it and it's your your um job to decide what time is it and where the sun would hit now van dyke brown maybe even a little bit of ivory black just a little bit let's cut a roll and pull it the other way so it looks like a shadow so just like so and then do the same thing on the other side okay shoot already like that you already have some rocky cliffs going on there I'll get some more dark sienna and just give it a more rock look more marbled 
I don't like that that dark sienna with too much white. I think it ruins the look. But some people might like it. So let me pick up some more Van Dyke Brown. Ivory Black mixture. Let me just mix it up on my palette. Cut a roll. Shoom. Okay. Just a bit here and there. Just to be able to distinguish. Being able to distinguish these peaks and valleys and all that. Now, tap. We want to create the illusion of mist. And everything's coming down, so I'm just tapping down. And just go across. Now, let me pile this paint up. I know we're going to get back to it. Cut a roll of that dark sienna and white. Shoom. Just let it, let it loose. Okay. Let your imagination go loose. Let your hand movement go loose. And let your hand go light, meaning no pressure. Let's grab a little bit of band like brown. Little touch of white, little. Maybe it the colors changed over here. Okay, we have something like that going on. The Van Dyke Brown and Ivory Black and just add shadows. Gotta add highlights because the sun would hit everything at one point. No highlights unless, um, unless it's nighttime. But if you have highlights, then you need shadows. So it's important you you do both. It's like peanut butter and jelly. I don't eat peanut butter and jelly, but that's a, a popular food that it's a combination you get. So really, I'm just creating this to look like um like different colors going on different values different looks nature everything's different we don't see everything the same way okay now let's come up here blend out okay now let's go ahead with my fan brush and get that splashy water going okay now let's go ahead let's add more um more stones more more cliffs you can call them maybe here maybe around there you just gotta scrub in that paint really what time 20 minutes damn okay i had more planned but if we can't get to it in 30 minutes then we might have to cut it. Of course, until we have a complete painting. Of I'm not going to leave a painting like this. Okay. 
just load it up and then one more over here okay now I'll grab the same the same um, flat brush and just lock in base color just lock it in maybe a little green what the heck Just scrubbing on that paint, really. Okay, now let's go ahead, highlight. Then shadows. So I'm just mixing dark sienna and then white. Leave it marbled. Cut a roll and just attack. Shoot this one just like so. Twenty two minutes. Time really does go by fast. Now, just lightly grazing that paint. Now, we have a big old mess going on here. And we gotta put our shadows. I'm just touching and pulling down. Touch and pull down. Let me mix up some more of our shadows. Just a little bit. A few here and there. Just a little bit more shadows I need. Okay, just like so. Very lightly done. Don't forget not to over mix. You can put a few living here and there. But just don't overdo it. Okay. Now, I'm going to tap the base out of it, just tap, and if it's really bright, the color, then I'll create a more interesting highlight, as you can see here, and let me add some, some foam in there for that water. Now, let's go into cadmium yellow, a little bit of sap green, load up your brush, a little bit of uh, liquid white, just to thin out that paint. Let's come up here, 
and just highlight make sure you're loading up your brush full of paint not this will not work if you have very little paint on your brush it's going to be much harder and i want you guys to have success with this i'm giving you guys the tips and tricks at one point i want to be able to release my own brushes my own paints and have you guys paint along with me i think i think that would be um the goal so just lightly we have little time to spare so i'm gonna go into some ivory black with that same old two inch brush pull one direction as you can see here and I'll curve one side of your brush. That side faces up. Let's go in here. Maybe there's like a, a bushy little tree that lives up in here. And same thing with my cadmium yellow. Load up one side and it's coming in here. Let me add a little touch of the liquid white just to thin it out. Thin paint will stick on easier to a thicker paint rather than thick on thick. Just a few little highlights. And let's fix up the grass underneath. Okay, let's scratch in a stick or twig. Okay, now I feel like we're missing something in this painting. Let, let's try a pathway. Maybe it's a pathway that's missing. If only I could go the full um, hour like I did in my first videos. Okay, just a little and lightly highlight, lightly, 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 shoom. Okay, now let's fix up the grass. And I still feel like it's a bit incomplete. I'm gonna take some extra time. Hopefully you guys will still watch this. And I'm gonna add in maybe one or two evergreen trees. So let me load up my fan brush. Let's come on here. Boom. And boom. Load up your brush full with paint. Let's come up here. Lightly tap. This was not the best brush to pick, but I'll make it work. You guys know which brushes work best for you. Some brushes are a bit more stiffer than others. And this one, I chose the wrong one to try to paint a evergreen tree with. But it's okay. So just tap. So just go back and forth, 
staple on these trees little bit of cadmium yellow and that dirty brush will give you that green color just load it up and let's come up here let's highlight this tree just lightly you don't want to overdo it okay and the next tree okay now let's add in a tree trunk here lives one let me fix up the base and one more tree i already took extra time why not why not uh complete this painting as i envisioned that's a big old tree isn't it it's a bravery test okay just tap with the corner of your brush And just go back and forth. Number six fan brush would have been better, but I was thinking number uh, one inch brush would have been even better since I was doing a big one, but I didn't have any brushes with that color. Little tree trunk. And let's highlight just a, a little bit of liquid white. And just add it in. Just tap in a few little highlights. Okay, let me reload our brush and I want a few light spots here and there. Okay, let me reaffirm that tree trunk and I think I think that's pretty much it for today. You know what? Last thing, last thing. Changed my mind. You saw me do this. Um, or, you know what? Yeah, let's just put in a rock. I was going to put in distant trees, but with this, it would ruin the look. So, not anymore. I'm going to just put in a rock some white oh that turned too white I need some brown some rock rocky color now some shadow and we're done for today's painting. Well, I hope you enjoy this painting. It was a bit more challenging, but I think it's interest it's an interesting one. Um I'm sorry for taking up extra time, but I felt it was worth it for this painting. I thought you guys had to see the whole vision I had in my mind. From the bottom of my heart, I'd like to wish each and every one of you the best of luck, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care, my friend. Goodbye.